if anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. That is Tom Cruise driving off a cliff, really driving off a cliff in the new Mission Impossible movie. It's now in theaters and fans are going crazy for it. Let's bring in now movie critic Ray Drake for her review. Welcome back to the show. Hello. We can't get enough of Mission Impossible. Oh my God, except this mission. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I don't know how they keep making them so good. But we've got Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise. He's back again with everybody else in the IMF. So this is Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, Rebecca oh, Ferguson. Geez. They're joined by Haley Atwell in this one, True. Peggy in the Marvel oh, movies. And yeah. she's an amazing He's addition. Good. And this, this plot line feels maybe a little familiar, right? There's a weapon that they're looking for. <laughs> it's going to destroy the world in the wrong hands. Everybody says, listen, if this goes wrong, we don't know you, girl. <laughs> Does the plot even matter, though, in these movies? Nope. Because Tom Cruise is running. Like, that's all you want to see. Like, those stunt, that stunt, believe it or not, is only the beginning of this movie. Oh, like, there's God. so many more great things to see. I was really impressed. I don't know how they keep making movies that are just riveting, but they do it. And so if you're not someone who's typically into action movies, does this still just pull you in? Totally. All two hours and 45 minutes Whoa. of it. I didn't even feel the time. Wow. It, it's wild. I, I, Christopher McQuarrie and Tom Cruise have done a great thing for society when we need to be entertained. Mm -hmm, it's right. like, this is just exactly what summer movie season is about. 96% certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. The critics love it too, so it tells you something. It, okay. it definitely does. Okay, what about theater camp? Oh, what a beautiful <laughs> movie. <laughs> yeah, love it. <laughs> okay, no surprise that I'm a former drama nerd, so. <laughs> so am I. Okay, yes, girl. No wonder you, we get along so well. You have to check out Theater Camp because it's a mockumentary. And it's just this oh. tiny little movie, the complete opposite of something like Mission Impossible, where it's just about kids trying to have fun at their theater camp over the summer when the head of the camp, played by Amy Sedaris, She's not there, she's <laughs> ill, her That's dumb sweet. son has to run the camp. There are fewer <laughs> teachers there than ever. They've got Broadway stars aplenty in the movie and it is so deeply funny. Within the first five minutes, I was on the floor. <laughs> like, I'm really speaking in a lot of hyperbole this week because it was such a good week for movies. I wow. love mockumentaries. They're usually hilarious. Yes, yes. Right? So, and they're so done well. Really well done and well written. Uh, what about Bird Box Barcelona? Okay, so sequel to Bird Box, yeah, which came out a handful of years ago with Sandra Bullock. The primary thing you need to know, you have to see that one on Netflix before you okay. can watch oh, okay. this. Okay, it's very important, because otherwise you're like, what? What's happening here? Yeah. yeah. So, if you've seen that one, you know it's a post-apocalyptic world where they're these horrible, invisible creatures, and when you see them, you are driven to commit suicide. Okay, oh. it's very serious. This is like kind of, I guess I should have said trigger warning before saying that. Yeah. yeah, it's a really chilling movie. I remember seeing that. I don't really like scary movies, but I watched this one and it was, oh. it was a lot. Okay, it is a lot. And this movie is a lot that follows it up. So think twice about it, but I was really interested in it because it focuses on a dad, Sebastian, and his daughter. And they're trying to work their way through this incredibly difficult world. It is, I mean, chilling comes back to me. You use that word and it's really appropriate because it's like, that's not the most evil thing that they thought up for these movies. Oh, gosh. It gets worse. So I was kind of, I was like, I don't know if this is the time for me emotionally to watch yeah. a movie that's this effective. Wow. <laughs> but yeah. a good warning to be prepared for it, right? Very if we do want to so. watch it. Such a variety you brought to us this week. Yeah. Totally. Well, and if you're someone who's into those really dark, really intense, disturbing movies, then maybe you'll like it. Right? right? Then Netflix did you a favor this week because everything else is pretty tame in comparison. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like you said, a little bit of everything I know. to check it's out. Like, oh, shake it off. Yeah. Shake okay. it off. Okay. <laughs> Back to theater camp. Happy, happy. <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you so much for being with us. Always so great chatting with you.